Hey guys, today I just wanted to show you a new feature in DSLR controller version 0.96. It's called Wi Fi Pass Through Mode. You can probably guess what it does. Let me just show you. In DSLR controller in the menu, I go to Wi Fi Pass Through Mode right here, tap it. We get a very uninteresting screen telling you it's in Wi Fi Pass Through Mode. So let's use it from the Nexus 7. Just start the DSLR controller. I have to click it, yeah. And there we go. I'm running the DSLR controller on the Nexus 7, no cables attached. And the signal is coming from the Galaxy Nexus over Wi Fi. They're connected to the same Wi Fi network, so they'll find each other automatically. But you don't have to have a hotspot. Um, Android with Android device with an ice cream sandwich, uh, which Android 4.0 and later have a new feature called Wi-Fi Direct. It allows you to connect two devices with Wi-Fi without a router in the middle. So you can just use this anywhere, in the, in the middle of nowhere, in a forest, you could just connect those two devices together if both of them have uh, ice cream sandwich or newer. It's just a matter of going into Wi-Fi settings and connecting the devices together and then the app will just work uh, the same as if it was on the same, as if it was using the same Wi-Fi hotspot. It is Wi-Fi, uh, I'm not sure if this shows up in the video, but the frame rate on the Nexus 7 is quite a bit lower than it was on the Galaxy Nexus because uh, the signal has to come over Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is much slower than the USB connection so you're definitely going to notice that but the good news is you can still use all the DSLR controller features without any problems uh, and the range is phenomenal. You could literally, I could just pick up this tablet and walk 60 feet that way and I could probably still use the SLR controller. So it, it can be handy in uh, certain situations, especially those where uh, a cable can't be long enough. Uh, some of you might have noticed that you can get USB extension cables, but once you exceed a distance of 3 meters, say 15 feet, you're going to have trouble due to the degraded USB signal. The SLR controller is going to start crashing and you're just not going to have a good time. So this is one possible solution to that. I hope some of you enjoy using it. And that's it for today.